Hello there Aries, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your full moon in Aries reading for the 20th of October. So um, you being Aries, this is probably going to affect you quite strongly. Well, not probably, definitely is. Um, this is called the Harvest Moon. Sorry, I'm lying. It's the Hunter's Moon. And it's the Hunter's Moon because it falls after the Harvest Moon. So then everybody, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, is actually um, getting ready, going hunting and getting ready for the winter. So, Aries, let's take a look quickly at um, what is a full moon energy. Full moon energy is all about um, getting your manifestations um, into fruition, getting them to, to actually become a reality in the 3D realm. It's about closing out cycles. It's about leaving stuff behind that doesn't serve you any longer. Um, and also, a very interesting thing that I heard on another channel that I like to watch is that this Aries full moon, um, think about what you've done in April, um, specifically on the, well, around the 12th of April, when it was the new moon in Aries. And because it was a new moon in Aries, with this being the full moon in Aries, whatever you've started then is actually coming to fruition now at, 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 with this full moon in Aries now, which is very interesting because if I think back in April, my April was, was, was quite chaotic and, and it feels, it actually does feel energetically like things are actually starting to calm down. So Aries, let's see what is the biggest energetic influence. Wow. Okay, and we've got Mars. This is your ruler, Aries. So um, this being your most influential energy, you are going to feel like you want to like go, go, go with this full moon. And the energy, the strongest energy around you is Lemuria. Create heaven on earth. It's happening. So this is a good thing, Aries. If you have this Mars energy, your own ruling planet, as your strongest influence, and this is the strongest energy around you, um, this is going to be really um, quite a, a, a very interesting time for you. Remember that with with the, the Mars energy, the Aries energy, it's 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 a fire. You are a fire sign. It's all about doing. It's all about getting going and not stopping and, and, and getting things done. You, you, you're getting that Aries push, that push, 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 go, 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 do this, do this, do this. So the other thing, the, the, the flip side of the coin of this Aries full moon is obviously sometimes you might get pushed to do something that is good for you. And then other times you might feel this push and then it, it will almost feel like this might be the right thing to do. Um, but because this is such a pushing kind of energy, you might not realize that you are actually acting very um, impulsively and on the whim. So be very mindful and careful of that Aries, especially you being Aries, this is going to influence you quite strongly. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? I haven't been with you in quite some time because um, this the past few weeks has been energetically and otherwise quite chaotic, to be honest. So, okay, guys, let's get into this. What cycle are you ending, Aries? And we have what do you need to release? What I feel here, this is, this is mostly <clears throat> when you are approaching a full moon. Um, the full moon is the ending of a cycle. So... Before you can really end a cycle, there will be things that you need to release in order to take you into the new cycle. Because the ending of a cycle is obviously the start of something new. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm really, really getting about this, Aries, is you really are at the end of a cycle. And, and, and a very important cycle at that being the moon being in your sign. But the thing is, there is something that you still need to release about whatever you are whatever is going on in your life right now, so that you can actually go over to the next level or to the next cycle and create your heaven on earth. Then we have, what do you still need to work on to firmly, sorry, finally release? And here we have it. Oh, the answers you need are coming. Okay, so 
once again, when I get this message, it's it's the full moon in Gemini. Note that it is a full moon, so it is the ending of a cycle. Um, when I see these these two women on the card, I always have this thing of the one's eyes is open and the other ones are closed. And this is for me being aware spiritually and awake. And this one is still very much asleep. Sorry, this is not the message I always get. This is a brand new message. As I started talking, this this came out. So obviously this is this is something something new. It's about being either asleep or awake. And I feel that some of you might have been sort of like in the middle. You're not asleep, but you're also not fully awake. And I feel that maybe this is what you need to release. The thing is, with, with being, being spiritual and being in, in, in spiritual cycles, um, it's very important to understand that you cannot be in between. There is no in between. If you're in the in between, then something is not going to give. Something something is going to keep you stuck. You're going to stay there. It's like um, you have to be either warm or cold. It, there is no in between. There is no in the middle. And because there is no in the middle, the middle is you sitting sitting in a place where you can't. You, you you're stuck. You're stuck in the mud. You you're sitting in a place where you can't move. So what I feel here, Aries, for you is the answers you need are coming. Do you want to be awake or do you want to, is it maybe your decision to, to stay asleep in this life? Not that you can ever delete anything. There's no delete button in the brain. So you know what you know. You can never unknow something or unsee something. In other words, this is keeping you in a very unbalanced situation. You are very unbalanced. If you get to this point of, do I want to be asleep? Do I want to be awake? What is it that I want to do? And you're still stuck in that place. So maybe this is what the Mars energy is about, is what the Mars energy is bringing you. And, and please make use of that energy. The reason why, why I, I draw these cards is so that you know what it is that you can actually work with. What you have, it's like tools in a toolbox. You, if you don't have the right tools, you can't do whatever it is that you need to do or repair or fix or build or whatever. So use the the the, the tool of Mars, that pushing energy. Um, remember, this is this is all about going to new places this is the ending of a cycle. So stop being in the middle. Stop being half asleep and half awake. Go and decide. Yes, I'm ready for this awakening because you are. If you're watching this reading, obviously you are ready for the awakening. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on my channel. So let's move on. Are you still on the right path for your intended manifestation, Aries? Okay, so this is a new moon. So what I feel here is that, yes, you are on the right path. But what is keeping you stuck? Is your fear and that's that's the reason why you can't get out of all of this is you need to get out of your fear you need to work through your fears because man let me tell you awakenings are not fun it's not this beautiful joyous experience that that spiritual people sometimes say it's such a beautiful thing to to awaken it's damn hard and it's it's difficult and it, it's daunting and it's scary and it it changes everything in your life. It changes your foundation. It changes the people around you. It changes you. It changes your, your circumstances in life. It's not a comfortable thing. But remember, you are here to create heaven on earth. And it's happening. It's happening. It's actually happening. So I feel that you've started, to, you, you've started on this journey and it, it became a bit fearful or you became a bit fearful. And because of that, you stopped. And when you stopped... It meant that you are now basically stuck and you still need to release a few things. Maybe there's a few people in your life that you know wouldn't be there anymore if you go on, if you if you proceed with this path that you're on and you don't really want to lose them. But you really want to stay stuck, you know? Yeah, maybe you will get another job or I don't know, maybe because of this Mars pushing energy is it will push you over the edge instead of you jumping. I would rather jump and make a control jump than being pushed and flailing through the air and not knowing where you're going to end. And that would create absolute shock and fear in your system. 
Your advice, Aries, is it's time to release negativity. How beautiful is this? It's the full moon in Scorpio. So we have we have the, the new moon in Scorpio, which is, which is the start of the journey, which is exactly what I said. If you started this awakening process in April and you're still stuck in it, it's time to work through the negative stuff. It's it's This is the time where things are going to come to fruition for you, Aries. That is actually quite awesome. This is a beautiful reading, Aries. Um, I really hope you go through with your awakening. Um, it's much better than staying where you are. Yeah, it is daunting and yes, it is difficult. But you know what? If you can just go through this, you will get to Lemuria, which is heaven on earth. And that's on the other side. Aries, um, please check out my website down below in the description box. Um, I am available for personal readings. I'm adding quite a few extra readings onto my website. Um, for instance, I'm going to add um, love relationship compatibilities um, as, as astrologically. I'm going to add um, masculine and feminine energies. And of course, Twin Flame readings is my next endeavor. I also um, created a new channel um, called Twin Flame Teachings. So if you are inclined to go and follow that, please do so. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you have a beautiful full moon in Aries. I'll see you on the flip side.